What if I told you that the greatest creatures Earth has ever produced weren't dinosaurs at all? What if everything you thought you knew about nature's giants was just a fraction of the truth? When we think of size, our imagination usually goes to the blue whale gliding through oceans, the African elephant dominating the savanna, or a giraffe stretching high above the treetops. Impressive, yes, but these modern giants are nothing compared to the monsters that once ruled this planet. Some were so vast, their very existence seems to defy logic, as though evolution itself was daring to test its limits. Imagine a world where a single step could shake the ground like thunder, where shadows stretched across forests, and where rivers concealed predators so large they rewrote the very meaning of terror. Take Argentinosaurus. When most people picture a dinosaur, the first name that leaps to mind is Tyrannosaurus rex, the so-called king of the prehistoric world. But if T-Rex was a king, Argentinosaurus was an empire unto itself. This colossal sauropod didn't just push the boundaries of size, it shattered them. Fossils discovered in Argentina suggest this giant reached lengths of nearly 100 feet and weighed close to 100 tons. To put that in perspective, imagine a Boeing 757 jet or 14 African elephants compressed into a single living body. Its neck alone could have extended 40 feet into the air, high enough to peer through a fourth floor window while its whip-like tail stretched behind it as a counterbalance. It lived in the late Cretaceous period, about 94 million years ago, during an age when Earth's ecosystem seemed to encourage life to grow beyond imagination. How could a creature like this even function? Every day, Argentinosaurus would have needed to consume a staggering amount of vegetation, hundreds of kilograms, stripping trees bare as it moved slowly through forests and plains. Its body was like a living machine, supported by massive pillar-like legs, carrying a weight that would crush most animals instantly. And yet, it thrived. Few predators would have dared to even try to attack an adult. Juveniles might have been at risk, but once fully grown, Argentinosaurus was nearly untouchable. Scientists debate how it reached such a scale. Perhaps the warm, oxygen-rich atmosphere of the time allowed larger body sizes. Perhaps the absence of competition gave sauropods room to expand. Whatever the cause, this was life operating on a scale that feels almost alien to us today. And still, we have only scraps of its fossil record vertebrae, ribs, and pieces of leg bones. The thought lingers, could the real Argentinosaurus have been even larger? Could there still be something buried deep beneath the earth that eclipses even this living monument? But giants didn't always come in gentle forms. Enter Spinosaurus, a predator unlike any other. Forget the Hollywood image of Tyrannosaurus as the ultimate hunter. Spinosaurus was longer, heavier, and far stranger. This beast, stretching nearly 60 feet and weighing 20 tons, wasn't just a land hunter, it was a river king. Living in what is now North Africa about 100 million years ago, Spinosaurus defied expectations by evolving for life in water. Its narrow, crocodile-like snout was filled with conical teeth, perfect for seizing slippery prey. Its bones were unusually dense, allowing it to sink beneath the surface, and its powerful tail, shaped like a paddle, propelled it forward with the grace of a monstrous reptilian torpedo. Imagine standing at the edge of a river and realizing something the size of a city bus was gliding silently beneath the water, waiting for the right moment to strike. Its sail, the towering fin rising from its back, remains one of paleontology's most enduring mysteries. Was it a display, a cooling device, or part of its aquatic movement? We may never know for certain, but its presence makes Spinosaurus unforgettable. Unlike other theropods, it didn't just dominate the land, it blurred the line between ecosystems. 
a predator that could outmatch rivals on shore, yet vanish into rivers with the ease of a crocodile. It was a rule breaker, proof that evolution isn't bound by our expectations. For decades, fragments of its skeleton left scientists guessing, especially after many original fossils were lost during World War II. But recent discoveries in Morocco have revealed a clearer, more astonishing truth. This was a dinosaur that hunted like a shark, patrolled like a crocodile, and reigned like nothing else on Earth. Standing nose to nose with a T-Rex, Spinosaurus would have overshadowed it, its elongated snout reaching out like a weapon designed for precision. And yet, despite its size, it was not a bone crusher, but a fisher, slicing into rivers filled with enormous fish and reptiles. That doesn't make it any less terrifying. If anything, the thought of a semi-aquatic predator of this scale is even more unsettling. Because when something can vanish into water and reappear at will, it becomes not just a hunter, but a shadow, a living nightmare. And Spinosaurus, the true river monster, was exactly that. We've only begun this journey into the world of prehistoric giants. Some towered over the land as living skyscrapers. Others turned rivers into hunting grounds. But not all giants were reptiles. Some were mammals, creatures far closer to us who grew to astonishing sizes long after the dinosaurs had vanished. And what they reveal about Earth's history is just as astonishing as any dinosaur that came before them. Before we dive into those colossal mammals and the ultimate monsters of the sea, let me ask you, what's your favorite prehistoric giant so far? Do you side with the towering herbivore Argentinosaurus or the terrifying river king Spinosaurus? Share your thoughts in the comments below because I'd love to hear what captures your imagination. And don't forget to subscribe to Prehistoric Medievals, where we bring the ancient world back to life, one epic story at a time. Long after the dinosaurs had vanished, Earth still had room for giants. Not scaly reptiles this time, but mammals, our distant relatives, who grew to sizes that seem almost impossible for creatures with warm blood and lungs like ours. Among them was a behemoth so extraordinary that even the largest elephant today would look small beside it. Its name was Paraceratherium, the mightiest land mammal to ever walk the planet. This titanic herbivore lived between 34 and 23 million years ago during the Oligocene epoch across the wide stretches of Central Asia from Mongolia to Pakistan. Imagine a creature over 16 feet tall at the shoulder, more than 26 feet long, and weighing up to 20 tons. That's heavier than a Tyrannosaurus rex and nearly three times the weight of the African elephant, the largest land animal alive today. Yet despite its massive size, Paraceratherium had no horns, no tusks, and no armor. Its weapon was its bulk alone. Few predators would have dared to challenge an adult that could tower over trees and reach foliage with its giraffe-like neck and prehensile upper lip, plucking leaves from branches others couldn't dream of touching. What makes it even more astonishing is that mammals, unlike dinosaurs, face stricter biological limits on how large they can grow. Dinosaurs had bird-like lungs, hollow bones, and respiratory systems that supported enormous frames. Mammals don't. So for Paraceratherium to exist, the world must have been uniquely suited to its survival. Rich forests, warm climates, and enough vegetation to sustain a creature that could strip an entire grove clean in days. It was a living monument to what mammals could become when nature allowed them to dream big. Yet today we only know it through scattered fossils, jaw fragments, vertebrae, massive leg bones. We have never uncovered a complete skeleton. And that silence in the fossil record raises haunting questions. How many more giants are lost to time? 
how many titans walked this earth and vanished without leaving behind even a trace. Before we dive into those colossal mammals and the ultimate monsters of the sea, let me ask you, what's your favorite prehistoric giant so far? Do you side with the towering herbivore Argentinosaurus or the terrifying River King Spinosaurus? Share your thoughts in the comments below because I'd love to hear what captures your imagination. And don't forget to subscribe to Prehistoric Medievals, where we bring the ancient world back to life, one epic story at a time. Long after the dinosaurs had vanished, Earth still had room for giants. Not scaly reptiles this time, but mammals, our distant relatives, who grew to sizes that seem almost impossible for creatures with warm blood and lungs like ours. Among them was a behemoth so extraordinary that even the largest elephant today would look small beside it. Its name was Paraceratherium, the mightiest land mammal to ever walk the planet. This titanic herbivore lived between 34 and 23 million years ago during the Oligocene epoch across the wide stretches of Central Asia from Mongolia to Pakistan. Imagine a creature over 16 feet tall at the shoulder, more than 26 feet long, and weighing up to 20 tons. That's heavier than a Tyrannosaurus rex and nearly three times the weight of the African elephant, the largest land animal alive today. Yet despite its massive size, Paraceratherium had no horns, no tusks, and no armor. Its weapon was its bulk alone. Few predators would have dared to challenge an adult that could tower over trees and reach foliage with its giraffe-like neck and prehensile upper lip, plucking leaves from branches others couldn't dream of touching. What makes it even more astonishing is that mammals, unlike dinosaurs, face stricter biological limits on how large they can grow. Dinosaurs had bird-like lungs, hollow bones, and respiratory systems that supported enormous frames. Mammals don't. So for Paraceratherium to exist, the world must have been uniquely suited to its survival. Rich forests, warm climates, and enough vegetation to sustain a creature that could strip an entire grove clean in days. It was a living monument to what mammals could become when nature allowed them to dream big. Yet today we only know it through scattered fossils, jaw fragments, vertebrae, massive leg bones. We have never uncovered a complete skeleton. And that silence in the fossil record raises haunting questions. How many more giants are lost to time? How many titans walked this earth and vanished without leaving behind even a trace? And whales were exactly what it hunted. Unlike modern sharks, which prey on seals or fish, Megalodon targeted giant marine mammals. Fossilized whale bones bear deep gashes carved by its serrated teeth, which grew over seven inches long, the size of a human hand. Picture hundreds of those teeth arranged in five rotating rows, forming a conveyor belt of death. Its jaws could open seven feet wide, wide enough to swallow two adults side by side in a single bite. But Megalodon wasn't just a brute force killer, it was intelligent, strategic. It attacked the soft underbellies of whales, bit at their fins to immobilize them, and delivered death with calculated precision. For nearly 20 million years, no creature in the sea could challenge it. Yet, mysteriously, it disappeared. Some believe cooling oceans and dwindling food supplies sealed its fate. Others argue that competition from faster, more agile predators like early orcas may have shifted the balance. And there are those who suggest that mass marine extinctions reshaped the seas in ways even this apex predator couldn't survive. Still, the mystery lingers. Fossilized megalodon teeth have been found on every continent except Antarctica, proof that this monster once roamed nearly all the world's oceans. Some whisper that maybe, just maybe, it could still lurk in the uncharted depths, hidden in the darkness of ocean trenches. 
Scientists say it's almost impossible, but the thought of a 60-foot predator gliding silently through the abyss is enough to keep the imagination alive. So what do these giants tell us about the world we've inherited? They remind us that Earth was once a stage where size itself was a strategy, where being bigger wasn't just an advantage, it was survival. Argentinosaurus, Spinosaurus, Paraceratherium, and Megalodon were more than animals. They were living forces, experiments in scale that reshaped ecosystems and tested the limits of biology. Their reigns ended, their bones scattered, but their legacy remains, whispering to us from stone and sediment. And today, only one giant remains, the blue whale, a survivor, a reminder that Earth still carries echoes of that colossal past. But we can't help but wonder what secrets are still buried beneath our feet? What unknown titans once walked or swam here, whose bones are yet to be uncovered? The age of giants may be over, but their story is far from finished. So tell me, if you could stand face to face with any of these ancient giants, which one would it be? Would you gaze up at Argentinosaurus towering above the treetops? Watch Spinosaurus vanish beneath a river's surface? Stand beside Paraceratherium as it stripped leaves from a forest? Or feel your blood run cold, knowing Megalodon was circling beneath your boat? Share your choice in the comments, and let's see which giant captures the imagination of our prehistoric medievals community. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more journeys into Earth's forgotten past, because the bones of history still have stories left to tell.